Hello everyone, welcome to Reading with Reference this week. Uh, my name is Kim Christopher, I'm a reference librarian here at the Harvard Township Free Library, and per as usual with our Reading with Reference video series, I'm here to share with you some reading recommendations. So, here is the book, Astrophysics for People in a Hurry, by Neil deGrasse Tyson. And as to why I would recommend this as a nonfiction read, is that in a very concise, and yet very detailed manner in a short 200 pages, uh, Tyson goes over the subject of astrophysics and explains everything you might possibly need or want to know about the subject. Uh, he goes over the history of it, uh, from how it came to be, all the obstacles and hurdles we had to overcome, and the various arguments, debates, and theories about a surrounding astrophysics so that we uh, can have an understanding of the universe as well as our place in it, as you could say. <laughs> and everything in this book, even again, those that short 200 pages, it's all explained in this manner that's easy for you to grasp. There's no pictures or anything that would distract you from the subject being discussed, so you're intent on what you're reading that is. And there's no complex maps, uh, equations in the book at all that would make your head spin. And it's just a really wonderful book, just again, as the title says, you know, if you're in a rush, you don't have time to read, like, this very thick book about the subject, Tyson, again, just explains in a concise manner everything you would want to know in, again, that short 200 pages, and yeah, so I would highly recommend this. I, I now know things about all those sorts of things that were talked about in sci-fi movies and TV shows, you know, dark matter, wormholes, black holes, all that sort of stuff, but yeah. I highly recommend this as a nonfiction read. And then here today also I have the manga Sola Nin by Inyo Asano. And I highly recommend reading this Japanese manga as it's just a really wonderful story about real life drama where it follows Meiko Inoue, who is this office worker who hates her job with every fiber of her being. And she has a boyfriend that helps support her emotionally during her with her difficult job, and yet, at the same time, she has to support him entirely financially. And then her parents as well, they're, whenever they come to visit and talk, they're like complete strangers to her. They don't understand anything about her at all. And so, after looking at herself in the mirror and confronting all her life's choices, Mako decides to quit her job and embark on a journey to sort of discover exactly what she wants in life. And Mako's journey, following her throughout the story, just all the interactions he has with the people in her life and all the choices she makes to try and discover what she wants in her life, that's... I can't say too much without spoiling the ending of the story, but all these elements of the story, love, heartbreak, human companionship, these relatable characters and all these situations they get into that you yourself might have found yourself in as well, they all make it a wonderful read and yeah, I just highly recommend this as a Japanese manga read. The artwork is also gorgeous and the story, everything about this makes it a wonderful read. So yeah, I highly recommend this as a Japanese manga read. And then finally today here I have the book the City of Lost Fortunes by Brian Camp. And this is a straight up sci fi fantasy novel that I would recommend if you're a fan of Jim Butcher's Harry Dresden series and Neil Gaiman's American Gods, as it combines that supernatural investigation thriller in Harry, from Harry Dresden and reinvents human mythology as. The story, it takes place in our world, in New Orleans, post-Katrina, where the main character, Jude Duboisin, he's just trying to get by in life using his street smarts and his magic ability to find lost things. Quite literally magic, as New Orleans in City of Lost Fortunes, it's hub for everything supernatural, from, like, gods angels, demons, vampires, werewolves, you know, anything supernatural, you name it, New Orleans has it. And, well, 
as mentioned, dude's just trying to get by in this sort of <laughs> chaotic post-Katrina New Orleans filled with all the supernatural. And out of the blue, when he's trying to, you know, just get by, he's dragged into this murder investigation of the murder of one of New Orleans resident gods, and he's the prime suspect in this murder. <laughs> and facing powerful, otherworldly opponents and overwhelming mods that are not in his favor at all, Jude, he has to confront his personal demons that led him to this point in life, as well as the one truth that he never really ever wanted to know, the identity of the god that he would call his father. And yeah, there's just so many elements to City of Lost Fortunes that make it a really wonderful sci-fi fantasy read. It's just really rich in human mythology, beautifully written, uh, and... Yeah, there's, again, just like Solanine, I can say only so much about this book without spoiling it, but yeah, so I highly recommend this for fans, again, like I said, of Jim Butcher's Harry Dresden, Neil Gaiman's American Gods, it, it has everything you want in a sci-fi fantasy novel. <laughs> And that is everything I have today in terms of recommendations. And until we see each other again in another reading with reference, uh, please do know the library is now open. Uh, the hours are the same that we had uh, with the COVID quarantine, uh, where it's Monday through Wednesday, 10 to 8, Thursday, 10 to 6, and Friday, Saturday, 10 to 5. We are limiting uh, it to 15 people at a time in the library, 30-minute browsing session. Um, Based on that, you may or may not have to wait a couple minutes to get into the library. So far, we haven't had a problem with meeting that 15 people limit. And also, only two of the computer terminals are available for use. Uh, you can just come in, use the computer, sit down, use your library card, or get a pass from the circulation desk. Or you can even just call ahead, see if they're available to use, and try and reserve one, with, again, with the circulation desk. And I believe that's everything I have to mention for now. <laughs> the library is open. <laughs> and until we see you again, everyone, I hope you all have a wonderful day and take care.